Well, in Pasadena, kids are waking up extra early today for their first day of class. And just like all schools in the state, staff and students are being encouraged to either get vaccinated or if they can't, get tested. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live in Altadena with a look at some of the new safety measures as well. Cara, good morning. Good morning. They want to keep them safe. They want to get them back up to speed academically. All those kids coming back to full time learning in person five days a week and joining us live. We want to bring in their chief academic officer, uh, Dr. Elizabeth Blanco. Thanks for waking up a little bit even earlier than you had to this morning. We appreciate it. Um, and let's get started with getting kids back up to speed. Some of the programs you're going to have in place for parents worried they may have fallen behind while learning at home. So we have been focusing on accelerated learning and prior to the pandemic, really looking at ways that we can keep students on track with their grade level standards while um, bringing them up to speed on things they might have missed. We've identified uh, key essential standards and our teachers have been working to make sure if they can't fit in every standard in the curriculum that students are learning the most important ones that will advance them to the next grade level. We've also um, had paper tutoring, uh, which is a 24 hour service for students to uh, call in, email and get assistance when they're struggling. This year we will be adding um, varsity in person tutoring where they can have a live person helping them virtually and our teachers um, throughout last year and will continue this year to step up and provide extra support after school before school and we're just really so proud of their dedication and keeping students on track. And also this year, a huge emphasis, obviously, on safety. With the standards changing, you put some new policies in place here. Uh, a new email went out to parents yesterday talking about masking up. Uh, briefly, touch on some of the changes we're seeing as we head into the year. Well, we will continue to uh, practice social distancing, uh, wearing our masks and hand washing, having sanitizing stations. We have high air filtration in every classroom to keep the air clean. And all of that is going to continue along with, you know, uh, promoting vaccinations. We have run our own vaccination clinics. We were one of the first in LA County to be able to offer vaccinations to our staff. 96% uh, of our teachers have been vaccinated and we're very proud of them and that includes other staff as well. Uh, we'll continue to um, have voluntary um, testing for anyone that child that would like that and we're going to follow the governor's um, new mandate and uh, have a testing program for all of our staff in place by October 15th. All right, thank you so much. Lots on tap for these kids as they get back up to speed here starting this morning, Suzanne. Oh, it's so exciting for everybody to be able to go back. Now, Car, before you go, where can students and staff get COVID tested in Pasadena? Yeah, so they can do that at all the normal spots, but they can also do that on campuses. So trying to make it as easy as they can for the kids and the kids who do take part in this, they get incentives like stickers and gift cards, uh, just trying to make it a little bit more fun for them. Yeah, it's nice, a little treat, like when you go to the dentist. <laughs> Thank you, Cara. <laughs>